does that mean you can get your hands on like the Death Star Lego for cheaper? Yeah? <laughs> How the devil are you? Are you good? Excellent, me too. Thanks for asking. I, I can't believe it. I've dug my winter jacket out. It's not really cold outside, but it's forecast to rain tonight and I've got to stand and coach the lads a little bit later on. So I've got my winter jacket out. It's got my hood all packed away. I'm ready for the rain, even if the rain's not ready for me. Arr. I've just been doing a few lines for a friend of mine's cartoon and I will let you know when it comes out, but I'm going to be the Black Knight. That's me. Apparently I'm a bit of a jerk. But I won't tell you any more. I'll let you know when the cartoon comes live and I'll give you a link to it so you can go watch it. Wow, this weather really sucks. I'm not looking forward to coaching tonight. But I'm off down the gym now and I don't really know what to do. Shall I go and do a weight session? Or shall I do a cardio session? I've not done cardio in about three weeks. Maybe I should do that. I just know it's gonna hurt and I don't like hurting. I decided cardio is a way forward and all I wanna do now is go to sleep. So, um, come back in a moment. End of the day, and it's time to go and do some coaching before I go home. I got Susanna a nice little gift little earlier on. I was um, down at the post office and I was walking back through the marketplace and they had a cake stall and she loves um, like chocolate twists and stuff like that that you can get from Costa Coffee. Well, it wasn't a chocolate twist, but it was a cinnamon and almond twisty thing. So um, I'm hoping she's gonna like that. But first of all, I've gotta go kill some athletes and then I'll give her a treat. And um, hopefully she'll give me kisses all over. But probably not, she'll probably just tell me off for buying her a cake because she feels like she's getting fat. And she's not. So make sure you tell her in the section below that she's not. Just watching a TV show all about healthy foods and things like that. And, as if that's not enough to make, I decided I would make a curry. I've kind of spiced it up a little bit more. I've put some coconut milk in there to make it a little bit sweeter. There it is, bubbling away and cooking and Susanna doesn't want any of it. So it's all mine. <laughs> I don't know if eating all of that is classed as healthy cooking, from healthy eating, but making your own food has got to be definitely classed as healthy eating, surely. Is that good? I don't know. Maybe not because it's a curry and it's full of coconut milk. Look at what I got you. What did I get you? Oh. A twist. Does it look good? Have half. I'll have half if you have half. Okay. Yeah? I'll have quarter, you have the rest. Okay? Ah, you have quarter, I'll have half. And then the other quarter well, can go with you too. You can have the other quarter tomorrow. Okay. Is that the deal? Oh. So just been having a chat with uh, John and Clintus and Eric, and we're doing a collab. We think, and keep your eyes open for it. It could be very interesting. I'm not going to tell you any more, but just keep your eyes open for it. We'll let you know when it's coming. Yeah, could be fun or not. Don't forget, at the end of today's video, click on the end slate surprise video and it'll take you to a brand new channel and video that you may never have seen before. You might have seen it, I don't know. But if you haven't, leave them a message and tell them I sent you and say hello and stuff. And if you're brand new to watching my videos as well, make sure you uh, subscribe and leave me a comment down below and say hello if you're brand new to me as well. Anyway, I'm gonna read through a few of your comments as usual. Today's video, uh, Marto1943 asks, what was your work before this work and what is Susanna's work as well? Well, Susanna, is a pharmacy technician and dispenser. My job before this, well, I've always worked in radio. I, I, I did a bit of TV work and I have worked in a supermarket and a pub and on a pig farm and in a shoe shop. But mainly since leaving university, my job has been in radio and TV. That's kind of what I've done. Raj Pawal asks, why did you start vlogging? Well, my friend John was doing it and he introduced me to all the different types of vlogging channel that are on YouTube. And it just looked like so much fun. Something I could record my life with and capture moments and look back on it. And I can. I can look back on loads of different moments in my life, including getting engaged to She Who Must Be Obeyed, who sat through there. It's been well worth doing it. It's great fun. I really enjoy it. And if you have never tried vlogging ever, and you're watching this right now and you're thinking, I fancy giving it a go, have a go. What's the worst that can happen? As long as you're making the videos for you and you enjoy it, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if nobody watches. And if people do, it's a bonus. Let's do one more comment. Uh, G4A Vlog says, Yay, Lego! I work for Lego in Westfield and great vlog. Well, thank you very much. And if you work for Lego in Westfield, does that mean you can get your hands on, like, the Death Star Lego for cheaper? Yeah? I could always uh, accept that as a gift. The Death Star in Lego. I know it's worth about three million pounds or something, but anyway. Uh, right, anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early, down at the gym for a leg session. You're gonna come and join me? Excellent, we'll do some leg press together. 
Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, sweet dreams, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye! You're watching Stop Jabbing On.